Hello, everybody, and welcome to YMCA Kitchen Party. Thank you all for joining. Uh, my name is Kim, um, and today we're going to make penne pesto chicken pasta. It's a very simple dish, but there are a couple of steps that you have to go through. Let's just go through the ingredients. I'll show you the ingredients that I have here. So I have uh, two chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken breasts that were chopped up into small cubes, some Parmesan cheese, um, some dry penne noodles. There's about two and a half cups there. I have some herbs. I have some basil. Um, I couldn't find a whole lot of basil in the grocery store today, so I'm also going to put some parsley in the pesto, and that's fine. Um, and I also found this. This is just uh, pure basil in a little tube. So that works as well. I have some walnuts. You can use walnuts or pine nuts. It's got some fresh garlic cloves, salt, pepper, some chopped onion, um, and I've got some olive oil. And if you wanted to use uh, Parmesan cheese that comes in a package like this, this is fine as well. I chose to use fresh Parmesan, and that's what this is ground up here. Um, and as far as equipment goes, you're going to need a food processor or a blender, whatever you have. Um, you're gonna need a saucepan about this size, and you're gonna need a pot about this size. This is a, I think a three or four quart pot um, to boil your water. And I've already started boiling my water for your pasta, and that's the first thing that we're gonna do, is to put the water on the stove for the pasta. So put about two quarts of water in the pot, cover it up. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there, you should always salt your water when you're cooking pasta. And when that comes to a boil, I'll put the pasta in. While that's happening over there, I'm gonna turn on my burner for the chicken to about medium heat. Um, and in the pan with the chicken is going to go your onion and your garlic so i'm going to chop up some garlic right now we need garlic for the chicken and we need garlic for the pesto in the chicken i'm going to put two cloves of garlic this is my way of cutting up garlic or peeling garlic chop the ends off give it a good slap hold your hand like this hit the knife with the palm of your hand just like that and what that does it pops the skin so that you can just pull it right off like that. It's very simple. Because sometimes garlic can be hard to peel. Okay, so I'm just gonna mince this garlic up. Okay, so this garlic looks like it's minced up enough. I have my burner turned on over here and the pan, so I'm just gonna put that right into the pan. And then I'm gonna put my garlic into the pan, or my, sorry, my onions. I've already got my garlic in there, so I'm gonna put in my onions. So, I've got my heat on medium high. So as soon as, it's gonna take about four or five minutes for these onions and garlic to cook. As soon as they are um, opaque, they sort of change to a, a clear color we're gonna put in the chicken. So while that's doing that, let's start with our pesto. So I have a food processor over here. This is an old food processor. I've had this thing since I was 20 and it still works. So the first thing we're gonna do this is the kind of blade we're going to use. Food processors come with several different blades. This is just a chopping blade. You just slide it in over the middle disc, and there you go. So the first thing I'm going to put in there is my herbs. So I'm going to take the basil. You just want the leaves, only the leaves. You don't want the stem. So we're just going to pull the leaves off like that. Um, I'm not measuring here, but um, if you do measure, it's about two cups of basil leaves and you would put them in your cup and you would press them down so that you get a good um, full cup. 
pull two cups of basil. Smells amazing. And like I said, I've got some parsley here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull the leaves off of the stem. We don't want the stems. They're tough and they don't um, blend well with the, with the rest of everything. They leave little chunks. I'm just wondering if I can ask a couple questions ask while we go. Questions. Yes, go, go. So um, I'm making, because we have um, more in our family now, and I'm not really used to cooking large amounts, but yeah. I'm guessing I can do this recipe with like four chicken breasts and kind of make it a bigger helping. Absolutely, absolutely. So the portions that I'm making would probably feed uh, maybe four to six people, but if you wanted to have more chicken breasts or a little more pasta um, and maybe make your pesto batch a little bit larger to serve more, absolutely. Um, this recipe is, very forgiving. So my water is now boiling. So I'm going to take my pasta and put it into the pot. It's gonna dump the whole thing in. That's about three cups of dry pasta. Now, I'm gonna give it a stir. My, my, my water's just heating up. I'm a little slow. <laughs> give it a stir. And I'm gonna turn the heat down to medium. And I'm gonna put the top back on. And in a minute, we're going to go back and check on this pasta to make sure that it's not sticking to the pan. I'm going to give my garlic and my onions a little stir. See how the color is changing a little bit? They're turning a little more clear, starting to brown on the edges. This is exactly what we want. So let's get back to the pesto. While the pasta and the onions and garlic are cooking. So you can see I have my parsley and my basil leaves in there. The next thing I'm going to put in here is a little bit of olive oil. You can use about a quarter cup of olive oil. I use extra virgin olive oil. Uh, I'm not going to measure here, but if you want to measure, it's about a quarter of a cup. That's what we start with. If we have to add more later, we will. So put that in there. Now the Parmesan cheese. Pour that in there. Now the nuts. These are walnuts. We're going to put those in there. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and some fresh ground pepper. Now, because I couldn't find a whole lot of basil at the grocery store, I bought this, which is basil in a little tube. And it's just basil, that's all that it is. There's no other ingredients. And um, it's concentrated. There's a lot of basil in here, so you just would need a tiny bit. So if you were looking for maybe, uh, if you needed a quarter cup of basil, I would probably use about four squirts of this, because it's already ground up. So it's just like a toothpaste tube. Just squirt it in. Just like that. So now I'm just gonna put my phone on mute for a minute because I'm gonna turn on the food processor. Flip on the top. Turn it on. I'm gonna shut it off. We're going to get a spatula or a wooden spoon, whatever you like to use, and we're going to push everything back down to the bottom. And we're going to grind a little more. You have to make sure the top of your food processor is connected properly where the machine will not turn on. It's a safety guard. I'm sure everybody knows that already. I'm going to put a little bit more olive oil in here. Uh, now I'm going to put some more garlic in the pesto. So I'm just going to knock off the peel. And I'm putting three cloves of fresh garlic in here. 
Wait, so the onion goes in with the chicken, right? But the garlic goes in with the pesto? Chicken and garlic goes into the, the uh, pesto as well. And now I'm going to check on my pasta to make sure it's not sticking to the pan. Just take a spoon, give it a stir. Almost done. This pasta would probably take a uh, hard boil for about 10 minutes and then it'll be done. You can tell it's done. I usually take one out. And I usually pass it. It's not quite done. It needs to go another three minutes. If it's coming along nicely. I'm going to put some salt, salt and pepper on the chicken. So with the chicken, you put onion and garlic. I can't remember. I'm a little behind. Onion and garlic in with the chicken. So you start okay. with your and your garlic in the pan. Turn your pan on or your burner on to medium um, and put a little bit of vegetable oil in, in your pan. Um, and then throw in your garlic and your onions first let them fry for about four minutes on medium heat and then put your chicken in um, and add a little bit of salt and pepper so now my pasta is done i'm going to turn my chicken down a little bit while i drain my pasta because the chicken is done as well turn that burner down to low and this pasta is definitely cooked now we're going to drain the pasta I'm going to put on my oven mitt so I don't burn myself. And then we're going to take it right over and put it right in the pan with the chicken and the garlic and the onion. Just like that. And I'm going to give that a little stir. Stir it in the pasta with the chicken and the garlic and the onion. I still have my burner on very low, not off, at about two. And now comes um, the magic. We are going to take our pesto and mix it right in with that chicken and pasta. I have taken the pesto and I put it right in the frying pan with the chicken and the pasta and the onions and the garlic. And now I'm just going to mix the pasta or the pesto in with the pasta. Give it a good mix so that all of the noodles and chicken are touched by the pesto. And look how beautiful that is looking. And this is ready to eat, so I'm going to serve some up. How are you doing, Julie? Uh, I'm getting there. I'm putting the chicken in. I got my pasta cooking. I got to do the herb thing. I, I'm behind on the herb thing. Guest has arrived. He's at the door. Okay, what? I'm going to admit them. Let them in. Oh, at your door behind you. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll get my back door. <laughs> Ding dong, he's here. He's like, I hear voices. <laughs> I see people. Now he's barking. Smell I'm, something good. I might bring him in to uh, show you some of the silly tricks that he can do. He's actually a really, really smart dog. Yeah, okay. Chicken. So, I serve Tim, some up. How long does this dish take to cook? I, I cook this in, I don't know, 15, 10 minutes. It's very fast. And this is what you end up with. Uh, beautiful. Penne, pasta, chicken. Simple, summery, easy, and done. Enjoy. 
Give her a little I, taste. I wish I could eat that. Oh, it's so yeah, delicious. It's delicious Tim. The freshness of the pesto and the peppery of the basil. Chicken and garlic. It's so delicious. And so easy. And you can make one pan and feel, feed your whole family. Check it out. Oh, I made some that looks beautiful. I'm so excited. I can't For, wait to oh, you, eat it. You used rotini <laughs> instead of penne. Good for you. It's rotini, uh, pesto rotini. I'm going to give it a little or try. Taste. I want to see how you like it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so good. I know. I can believe I made something that tastes good. <laughs> I know. Really, cooking is so simple. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank um, you so much, Tim. Have a good evening. I look forward to seeing you all again. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye.